Also drawing a lot of inspiration from my favorite design books. This is definitely one of them. We all love Liz because she helps us see what something could be. <laughs> but I love the way this looks. So first I did like this and then I did like this and then I forgot to record like 12 steps, but boom, here go the final product and it's still fire though. Doing a lot of florals right now, so I was thinking I could florals? do shoot. for spring. Groundbreaking. Here is where we are at today with this renovation. So isn't it so crazy to see one room being turned into these two things? That room looks so small in the photos to me, but really it was just like a massive hallway. That's all this room was, was a massive hallway. And that's why I always hated it because there wasn't much I could do with it besides like put a table in the center um, because the stairs entered right into it and we needed the um, space to be clear to go back to the kitchen. So now the room is, this is the butler pantry that will be right off the kitchen and then this will be the main hallway back and then these stairs are moving right here and they will be heading up this way. So the stairs won't be here anymore and this will just all be open from the front door. As you walk down this hallway, there will be windows on each side um, as you walk through. And this is the butler pantry. There's the current butler pantry that, will, that serves as our laundry room and just extra kitchen space. That will now be laundry um, still basically function as the same without the food. <laughs> so that will all be moving out here. Um, so these were already here. Um, these were the library cabinets. They were already here. They will now be the butler pantry cabinet. So um, it's it's really staying the same. A lot of it is staying the same. Um, over here, this is the brick progress that they made today. It's a lot and they once they get everything prepped um, and today was a lot of detail work like they worked around this cove um, and they were started prepping the flooring in the butler pantry um, for brick as well. One thing I really wanted to share a second with you guys about the um, brick. There's been a lot of decisions that I was not ready for and one of them again if you go look at the kitchen renovation highlights, you'll see what I said on Friday about hiring the right brick people because they're so creative and they think of things that I would never think of. Um, one thing that they thought of that I'm so thankful is a lot of the brick walls in like the 1800s would have wood in the back, um, just nailer boards um, that you can hang things on. And it really makes it look authentic to our 1800s farmhouse, but I was going to have to drill into brick if I ever wanted to hang anything there. And now there's going to be a board back there, a nailer board that we can nail things to, hang our, anything that we want to do, put some hooks on there. We'll now have a board that will just fit in with the actually so many good questions in the question box today about the brick and one of them was why the brick doesn't touch the edge here oh. and yeah we were just talking about it yeah so we're gonna this is gonna be studded in all the way and finished so it looks like it's a walkway now but we're actually gonna 
put a wall here and based on how this wall is sitting it's all going to come in and buckle back in so it's going to kind of look like it's sitting on the surface of where brick would be if it was all the way through the house so it's kind of wild. yeah <laughs> i can't explain it any better yeah, but gonna, um so we... the next wall is going to sit kind of on top right at this edge so this is where the wall is going to tie into yeah, it will look super normal. So just a reminder that that is the old walkway. We just, we kept it basically for the brick guys to make their work efficient. And then this is actually the new walkway on the other side of the fridge. Um, and actually that doorway is moving too. So anyways, more on that later. <laughs> a little update here in the pool house so the house actually had a lot more um, prep work that we anticipated so the pool house got um, put on hold so where we're at not too much progress since our last update um, the door has been trimmed in and the first layer of trim went, has gone on each window we still got to do a little bit more detail trim like that edge work um, but our plan is actually coming really close to uh, to getting finished so once we get all this trim in and basin, we figured out what we're going to do for the flooring. Um, and the first step in putting that flooring in is painting um, the subfloor. So it has a nice surface to adhere to. It's going to be a peel and stick. So we want to get all the trim work in, cover everything, and we're going to spray it all. Oh, we got to do something to the ceiling too. Um, we're actually going to do a tongue and groove, I think V-slot, almost like beadboard, um, but the flat side of the B board, so all of this actually has a flat side on the other side, so it's multi-purpose. Anyway, all that in, which is a couple days of work, so really not a whole lot. We're gonna spray it to include the floor, um, and then we can put the flooring in, and it's really done in, in regards to the trimming of it. Now, the bathroom isn't quite done yet. We do have water ran, um, and the sink, and all the plumbing's there. It's just getting everything buttoned in and getting homes for these other cabinets that are going in the uh, middle stall of the garage. We are in a garage right now. So um, some trim work has been, progress has been made. I had a couple hours today in between some things. So we're going to do that. Finish the trimming up top uh, and the base on the bottom. Finish these door trims and that is the update. So a little back burner right now, but we definitely fully intend on having this done when pool season really is kicking off um, so we can use this space how we intended it. And I think we're still going to hit those times.